Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking with you in God's Word, Psalm 102. And as I kind of briefly spoke to it uh, last video, uh, we're in this section now uh, that it's pretty amazing poetically and how it's compromised, uh, compromise, how it's put together, composed, um, as we get to see 101 and 110 uh, being these psalms about kings, the reigning kings. And then we inch forward both sides. So 102 and 109 are going to be these prayers. Psalm 102 is this reality of the prayer of an afflicted man. And I think it speaks incredible words to so many of us. I think to all of us. We're all afflicted, obviously, with sinful by nature. Uh, but the afflicted, where do we go with that affliction? Where do we go with our seasons of tribulation? Where do we go with just, uh, how, how is this ever going to get better? Go to prayer. You talk to God. Your affliction, your tribulation, your season that you're in, it's in his hands. It's in his hands. And you're thinking, well, then why doesn't he take it away? <laughs> um, I, can't, I have to say, I don't know. But there's sometimes within trials and tribulations, he's actually just uh, bringing forth, as it calls, uh, the silver making, uh, the, the dross. He's just kind of refining us because with perseverance, it builds well, character, character, hope, right? Suffering produces perseverance. So we're always in this realm of patient endurance. But where do we go in amongst the time of endurance? Where do we go in the time and amongst affliction? This is where Psalm 102 is great. Um, a prayer, speaking to God about the affliction, asking him the questions of the afflictions. Let's meditate together on Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me. When I am in distress, turn your ear to me. When I call, answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke, my bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and with withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. Because of my loud groaning, I am reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears. Really what's that's pushing for is not actually eating ashes, but uh, the ashes that they would heap upon their head or the, uh, the, the tearing of the clothes and the tears. It's just talking about the time of grief that he's in. Verse 10, because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. I'm grieving because of your wrath. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass, but you, O oh Lord, you sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. I just want you to highlight that word there, right? Endures. Your renown endures. He is a God of endurance. Has it in his hands. Verse 13. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show, va show favor to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So... The name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord, in the course of my life, he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, do not take me away, O my God. In the midst of my days, your years go on through all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will wear all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them, and they will be discarded. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. Their descendants will be established before you. Where does this psalmist take our affliction? It takes it to an eternal perspective. And that is 
God. I am with you, God. It's in your hands. You are forevermore. So what is my time here? Yes, I'm going to count my days. You have my days numbered. And so I just believe and trust in you, even in and amongst the affliction, even in amongst the grief that I'm in and the tribulations that I'm in. Once again, they're in your eternal hands. You visit your people. You bring about what you need in and amongst your people. And it's hard to say that we need suffering. And it's not just the reality. That's just our nature that just continues to pursue us and surround us with the nature of the curse from the fall. But yet in and amongst that, while we are still sinners, Christ died for I mean, it's just continually uh, understanding of our temporary situation with an eternal perspective. All things are in the hands of an eternal God. So, pray. Bring your afflictions to God. Bring your seasons of tribulation and lay them before his throne. He is an eternal throne. Maybe he'll answer. Maybe he'll give you that direction. Or maybe he'll just give you this promise. I am with you, even in the season of tribulation. And an eternal God that will endure forever can attach with you so you too can have patient endurance and walk by faith in all things. And in that, in our affliction, in our seasons, in our joys, in our sorrows, God is with us. And to that, there's no better reality. In our walk of faith, but also making sure that eternity actually speaks to our temporary. And also being able to say, in amongst our suffering, in amongst our afflictions and tribulations, we can say, thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.